Asmo again, jackpot. Yeah, we'll go a different build this time though. We'll go the uh, more uh, popular one these days, the the E one. Upload some ARAM games. I do have some ARAM games on YouTube. Exclamation mark YouTube space ARAM. There's definitely some, but yeah, sure, I can try to upload some more as well. I think I'm the one that popularized it. No, there were other people that did it before me. Actually, Bob was one of the first people playing it. And Shiggity. I think Bob and Shiggity are like the ones that uh, played it the most. Okay, I think this might have just got 12 resets by the way. Just saying. Pretty sure he just got 12 resets. Good thing resets don't do damage until level 7. Our merc power is really weak, it's like the one downside of uh, running this kind of comp. Also will not have any percent damage against Diablo. That could be uh, not good. Let's see what happens. I guess. So low, I'm so low, I'm so low, but no one's dying. People said. Oh my god, I got so many autos on him, and he didn't die. People said. Have percent damage at four? Yes. yes. Looks like he's going E build, but not full E. A seed has been planted. It will sprout before you know it. That seed for 
It's a bit unfortunate you managed to avoid that. Oh. Oh, this is a bit unfortunate. Goodbye, world. Five man bottom. They are all bottom boys. Found them all. Got two trips though. Oh, we got a good amount of stacks there too. This guy dies though, we're gonna be very far behind at this point. He might be dead. Looks like he did, boys. Good to see you. See if we can stop him from killing the fort though. Maybe? Maybe not. Your fort has been destroyed. A break. We got no damage, that's true. I'm pretty much all our damage. <laughs> eh. Cyrus Deathwing is always hit and miss. If you set him up for a Q, he can do a lot of damage, but if no one's setting him up, then it's like range Deathwing. It just sucks. If no one's setting you up, you don't do anything. Because people can just walk out of your fire. Get some stacks, Alex. At least we got some stacks. Do not let that happen again. Doesn't Cyrus only play range deathwing? He plays Rexar too, but he's bored of Rexar. These days, he usually likes the deathwing. What's up, Leon? Forty seconds left. What am I? What am I? Forty seconds in stacks? Is it a stacks kind of thing? That's nice if he does. Very nice. Love to see it. I need to keep soaking though. Wish my whole team like can one of them like stay? Why are you just? <sighs> I just wish they would like do something. All right, it's over. Dude. My team is so much worse than theirs. It's actually disgusting. Actually, can't believe how much. Go next. You call winnable, bro. They have hot. All their players are high GMs. All my players are. I got Cyrus and Pussycat. I just can't even right now. That's kind of nice. complete that means we are probably feeding soon
back for a while. Yeah, got my ult off at least. At least we got a few buildings. I think we might get this one too, actually. Cyrus living life, okay. That's good. Love to see that. Would melee deathwing be better here? I think it would be, unless you're scared of bullet, but it's only one bullet. I feel like melee deathwing actually would get a lot of value against their team. Certainly it would have been infinitely more useful pre ten. Ay, ay, ay. Just get me up. Oh, he almost got it off. I would have been sick if he got it off, actually. Try. Start sprinting it for a keep. Unfortunately, we can't even get outside our base right now. I'm pretty sure the base thing is not happening. Leaving the base will be a quite a task at this point. Another seed is about to sprout, heroes. Are you ready? I really don't want to give up a free keep. Can we like not give up a free keep? That'd be nice. So low, dude. We well, can't kill anything. Making a break. Well, I mean, if we get to level 20, maybe we can do something. I doubt we're getting to 20, though. Trust you know what to do, heroes. There's my precious seed. Go and get it, would you? How come your ultimate is off cooldown? 
Like I said, their players are so much better than our players, it hurts my soul. I can't get out of my base right now. They have complete map control, complete vision control. Well, that'll actually blow up on the thing. That's nice. Bottom keeps dead for sure. He's sacking bot. Bottom is no no uh, chance. What happened to my laser there? I think we tried to defend this one. Alright, we'll need you to calm down. Calm down, brothers. Just get 20. Taking a ton of damage. We're still not 20 though. This is uh, maybe the throw. We'll see. At this point, I don't even care. Dude. Let's go. I got a free tap. I think that's a bad hunt. We can win this. This guy keeps missing his blood shield though. Ah, right, we lost. PP 20 blood shields missed. Team is dying. They are destroying your world. Oh. 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 No chance, dude. <laughs> That player diff there is insane. Defeat. MVP. Him missing the level 20 blast shield was a feels bad man though. Ooh, he had the shield upgrade too. That would have killed three people I think if he hit the shield. I always go that four? Yeah, I like that four, it's nice. You get so many shitters, as long as you can auto-attack. I like the armor one too, yeah. I, I've played the armor one too, it's nice. It does... It does, uh... Make your shitters tank here. I feel like no one hits the shitters anyways though. If they're hitting the shitters, I feel like it's gonna die with or without the armor. Most of the time they just ignore it, so... I just like having more of them. You think the draft was a fail? I don't think it was that bad. I think it was okay. Hmm. It wasn't like optimal, but... It, it, we had faster wave clear, so... If we just kept like wave clearing and doing... uh, How do I put it? I don't know. If there was five of me playing that draft, I guarantee you I can beat the other team. It's just, it's just it's, there's just not five of me. They they don't understand how to actually win with that draft, so it didn't work. Yeah, they were mostly on their one tricks too. Asmodan is such a bad hero, you just keep poking through the match. It's not bad. It, it, 
you 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 cannot hard carry. That's why I don't have Asmodee in, in a higher ranking. I don't think you can hard carry when your team is just worse than the other team. Basically, exactly like last game, I don't I don't think you can do anything. If you cannot touch a minion wave, I don't think you can do anything. If if your team's not good enough to escort you to minion waves, you you lose the game automatically. I think. But if your team is at least the same level of confidence as the other team, then Asmodan is really strong because he his macro pressure is insane. If you can actually get to a wave. Do you think a GM could play all five and beat a silver team? It'd be like StarCraft at that point. I have no idea. Not sure, because playing all five is not something most Grandmasters would be able to do. You're... I think if it's a Grandmaster Viking player, then maybe they could do it. But just because you're Grandmaster doesn't mean you can multitask. I don't think 95 out of the 100 Grandmasters in Grandmaster can multitask to that level. It's completely different when you have to control all five. They'll play StarCraft? Not much. If I play it, it's during queues. So if I play it, you would see me playing it. Yo, peace out, Death Frost. Thanks for dropping by. Warcraft 3 campaign. Not fully. I've played some, but not fully. I haven't fully played it. Tried playing Probius and you lost all your games. How are you such a great Probius player? I lose a lot of Probius games too, man. I guess I'm good at Probius because chat has forced me to play it so many goddamn times that I just practice. I've just played it a lot more times than you have, most likely. Play Murky, make me Krubio, make me... You have a hundred bucks for fan vs grubby match bo3 what in warcraft i don't play warcraft I, there's no chance i could be grubby in warcraft i i never really played the can the 1v1 that much i played the custom maps a lot more i played dota more when i played the warcraft footman frenzy Footman Frenzy, that's a throwback. That was good times. Footman Frenzy is a lot of fun, I think. Footman Frenzy is hella fun. It's my favorite game for quite a while while I was playing Warcraft. If you beat people in StarCraft, then it's the same for Warcraft. It's just about micro. No, it's not. It's completely different at the high level. Because you have a hero, and there's creeps on the map, and the creeps drop items and stuff. High level Warcraft 1v1 is like, you kill this creep on the map here with your hero at this specific time for a 50% chance that it drops this item. And then you need to go somewhere else and kill a different thing. It's completely different. You don't have any of that in StarCraft. Yeah, in Warcraft, you're also trying to save every unit. In StarCraft, that's not nearly as important. They're actually very different. I mean, they're similar in the sense they're both RTS, but the way they play is completely different at high level. Oh. 
fall before me. Our game. My team is better this time. I kind of want to do an Asmodean game again and see how it goes. Because this time I think I don't have like four players that are just completely worse than their four players. I'm going to try one more Asmodean. This can be an Asmodean case study of uh, exactly how good Asmodean is. Alright, so we're running back to back Asmodan games. Last game, I think every single one of my players was like 10 times worse than theirs. This time, I feel like it's much more even. The Asmodan case study begins now. Okay, exact same builds, exact same everything. We see how different the match looks. The only difference is like the player skill level of your team. My Asmo win rate is 70% of GM. Okay, but how many of those are on 9k, 9K accounts, Leon? I feel like it's only OP if you get 70% on a 9k account. You, if you're on like a under 7k account, then your team's actually decent most of the time. 9k is where you actually have to carry every one of the shitters on your team, right? So, if you could do that on a 9k account, then I'll concede it's OP. But I don't think you can carry on a 9k. It's... Four diamonds on your team? Good luck with Asmodan, dude. Ten seconds. No one seventy percent at nine K. Okay, I don't think you can like win with Asmodan with four diamonds. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you can win if you have four diamonds and the other team is four masters with Asmodan. That's the problem with this hero. It's, if you can't touch the creep wave, you, you can't win. And if you have four diamonds, you're not touching the creep wave. That's kind of, oh no, that was such a bad dunk. I shouldn't have done that one. Rip, no dunk for the first wave. Actually, this first wave is not getting cleared. It's broken now. <laughs> it kind of worked out, no one's claiming the wave. I really need my enemy to stop running it. A new piece. I'm not gonna go for that dunk, screw it. This on the wave help mess that. Oh, I actually predicted his Q! <laughs> uh, see his CPX. Am I dead? I think I'm okay if I don't hit them. Fighting so much, I kinda almost wish I went the other Asmodan build at this point, dude. Oh, thank goodness for the beetle. You love to see the beetles.
Ah, we're good, we're good. Oh, hey, he's still using Blizzard to clear, though. Wait a minute. He said okay, but he's still using Blizzard to clear. Can't wait. I thought he was going to blink into the orb. He doesn't want it that bad, huh? All right. Twenty thousand leaving recess. Oh god. I am so by the way. Your enemy is deserving of my power. Prepare the one thing is we don't have a uh, percent damage for Diablo again. Hopefully that doesn't that won't end up matter too much. It's like the one downside in both games. I think it's okay if I can get stacked fast enough. I'm getting stacked pretty fast. So you can already feel the difference between this game and last game, right? Like, I, I'm telling you guys, nothing is different about this game and last game at all. Except my players are not 10 times worse than their players. Like, literally, it's, it's actually a more even match this time. And you can see how much more, like, useful Asmodan is. You need your players to not suck ass. Like, if it's like a match like last game, it's stupid. But if, if the game is more even, Asmodan actually feels really strong. I haven't even gotten a turn in yet. Like, Asmodan with a lead is like broken. If you actually have a lead with Asmodan, it's actually quite insane. Oh, caught everything. Setch. Good luck, boys. Have fun. I think we lost like 40 gems there. That kind of sucks, but oh well. All I can get is fine. As long as he doesn't lose these gems. If he loses these gems, it's really bad. If, if we don't lose these 27 gems, we're fine.
obliterated. Yeah, that should be fine then. Would have been nicer if we had another turn in. If we had another turn in right here, the game would be over. But uh, since we don't, game continues. As of the van is you don't really want to fight them by yourself. You want to fight it. You want to like force them to fight as many minion waves and demon shitters as possible. So, a lot of the time, clearing a minion wave and just bringing yours is better than just fighting them directly. At least with this build. Getting gone on. He has no wall, but it should be okay. Thirteen. Eh, I got the slow. The slow is nice. I really like the slow. People ignore your demon warrior most of the time, and then the slow makes them not kill you immediately. It's, it's actually really nice. It's good offensively too. Makes them tankier too. nice thing about Asmodan with a lead. You get one man advantage, you just get a keep or you get a fort. You know? Can't really do that with any other hero, usually. Maybe Sylvanas, but it's not guaranteed with Sylvanas. Did 8% of your health with R? He doesn't have the pulse, he doesn't have the percent damage, so yeah, that's why you take percent damage bomb on Chaser against thick boys. It doesn't do that much damage without it on a thick boy. I want to prep the waves top and bottom here ideally. We just want to prep both waves real quick. So if they fight us mid, they're going to lose a lot. I kind of want to just top keep too. I'm just going to just top keep soon. I'm just staying in the back because like I don't my hero actually doesn't do that much. As long as I keep summoning minions and like empowering them, we'll win eventually. Alright, this has been my Asmodan case study. I I'm telling you guys, there's literally nothing different between last game and this game. Exact same build, exact same everything. The only difference is I my team was not complete garbage compared to their team, so I can actually 
get to every wave I need to get to. You know, I can actually clear the wave without my team like all being dead and I can't even walk up. So so if you can walk up with Asmodan, like he feels oppressive. Like it feels like the enemy team had no chance basically because you're like clearing waves so fast and you're summoning shitters. It's it's like a better Zul if uh, if your team is 